Hey everyone, this is Take Two. Uh, Ken Surfs here, and uh, we are in the shaved in for a long needed uh, shave. We have a couple of new products I'm gonna be trying today for the first time. If you just saw the previous video I uploaded, it was an unboxing. And the reason I did that is because I guess that was about 10 minute video, and this is usually about 13, and I didn't wanna run uh, with a, thir a 30 minute shave video. Uh, that would be, uh, that would be kind of boring. Plus I've had a busy weekend and I wanted to show you some of the footage of some of the things that I've been doing. So today's shave, I'm going to be trying two new items. This is from a uh, global shave club. It's their new razor called steam. It's uh 3.7 ounces. I believe it is. And a nice heavy handled razor. I have another one of their heavy razors right here. This is the chrome version. The head is a little different. I can tell you right away, the gap looks a little bigger. Uh, this is supposed to be a little more aggressive than the Mercure 34C or the Edwin Jagger DE89, uh, which is gonna be nice. And it is a three-piece, three-piece chrome. And I like that handle. It's funny, it says the balance point's about a third of the way down. Let's see, do I do, yeah, it's about right there. There's your balance point. And I choke up on these uh, handles anyway, so it should be nice. I'm going to be using a Shaver Boy blade today. Hang on, let me open this thing up here. From north of the border, from Canada. Let's see, let's load up this blade. You guys had a great week? Had a fun weekend, man, fun weekend. There we go. Okay, it's clicked in. Lock this thing in. No blade play. Locked in good. Very little overhang, but just enough for me to grab if I wanted to change out that blade and not cut myself. Locks in tight. All right, that's the razor. Steam from Global Shave Club from DS Cosmetic. One of the guys I watch regularly is uh, Sinatra Lennon. And I, I have, you know, you've, you've seen, I've got, a, I've got one of my limited editions here. DS Cosmetics come out with some cool brushes for us YouTubers who do uh, shaving videos. And I saw him use his uh, brush. And I really do not have a black and white brush anywhere. And I saw that color and I go, man, I'm not on his channel, but... <laughs> I gotta try his brush out. And it is a 26 millimeter soft synthetic knot. I just thought that was really cool. So I'm gonna put that right here in the crystal skull. Get it soaking a little bit. These things should be available on the shelves soon because Halloween is everywhere in the uh, stores now. It's not even the end of September or the middle of September, not even the middle of September and uh, Halloween is everywhere. All right, I'm gonna be using one of my favorite soaps today, grapefruit. And actually in the video, or the picture I show at the beginning of this shave, uh, I did not include a shave bowl, because I'm a dummy, and I forgot this is a soft, this is a soft soap. So I'm not gonna lather it up in here. I'm gonna use my Van Ule shave bowl there. Put some of that in there. And we are getting set for the aftershave today. Right in front of me. To go with a the grapefruit theme, some Italian citrus from Fine. And just in case I need it, from Thayer's, some peach witch hazel. I don't think that's discontinued, right? Or is this the one that's discontinued? I, I keep forgetting. You guys know a lot more than me. All right, when it comes to what's been discontinued or not. Great weekend, guys. I, I started out Saturday doing a 5K. Uh, 
finished in 34 minutes. It was at the Angel Stadium of Anaheim, where the Anaheim Angels play. And it was a bubble run. My daughter signed me up. And you got to run through these, <laughs> these big bubble machines. And actually, the bubbles were getting like seven foot tall. And I'm running through this. And then there's these people... I mean, they're going to drown in these bubbles. They stop. They're like, they're kids and, and, and adults, and they stop in the middle, and you can't see them. You're running, bam, I ran into these people. Uh, and I'm going, come on, dude. You know, and then they get out of there going, ah, I'm choking. Well, you know, you don't, you're not going to be inhaling these bubbles. It's not candy. It tastes like a chemical. But it was kind of fun. Here's some scenes from that. Very hot. I sat out in that heat. Uh, we got there at 7, stood in that heat till 8, and we did the run. 34 minutes later, it was very hot. Uh, by the end of the day, I went to saw It 2 in the movie theater, and oh man, I think I got too much heat. So, uh, I was feeling kind of crappy. Rested Sunday, and then I went to Disneyland. Took Monday off work, took a vacation day, and went to Disneyland. We'll talk about this as we're lathering. Earlier this summer, they opened up the new part of the park, Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. And it's a whole new land. You know, they have Fantasyland, Tomorrowland, Frontierland, Adventureland, Toontown. And they opened up, look at this, they opened up that uh, Star Wars Galaxy Edge. So in a few minutes, I'm going to show you some footage in case you haven't been yet. It was pretty damn cool. Look at the long whiskers on me today. All right, love this brush. Nice DS Cosmetic, you did a good job. Sinatra Lennon, you did a good job. I know Paul H. has one, Kevy has one. It was something about this color scheme just caught my eye. You know the soap. Brush work good. Brush looks thirsty. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> I shouldn't have done that yet. The brush is thirsty for the soap. All right. Well, actually, that was a good unexpected bit there because uh, the knurling on this is such that even with the wet hands and the soap on the hand, I can still grasp this fairly well. Nice. I can tell right away it's a tad more aggressive. They're right. If you have to push a little farther on some of those mild erasers to get a BBS, this one, very little weight is taking it off. So it's been like a week since I've done a shave video. I did the contest. The gentleman who won is from Canada. I'm packaging that up now. Thank you everybody for entering that contest. So I've been a fan of Star Wars since I was a kid. I was 15 in 1977 when that movie came out. The first one. And I thought it was just cool. So when Disneyland opened up their new land, you had to enter a lottery to even get in. 
And then it opened up to the general public in the summer, but I have a, I live in Southern California, so I have a Disneyland pass. It cost me like 350 bucks, but you can go, except they black you out in the, uh, block you out in the summer and usually on the weekends. So this was the first uh, week after summer that me and my daughter, we both have passes, could go to check out that new land. And what's kind of cool is it drains the crowds from the other part of the park. So to get on the big rides, Indiana Jones is a big ride. Look at this. No line. That was at 10.30 in the morning. No line. The only wait is walking through the turnstiles to get to the start of the line. And uh, Star Wars land has restaurants, has the canteen. I didn't get to go in the cantina. There was a big wait and you had to have reservations, but they had the uh, Smuggler's Run, I guess it's called, the Millennium Falcon. Well, heck, take a look. Here's walking into Star Wars land and the Millennium Falcon and some of the sites. You can fast forward through this part if you want, but I thought it was pretty cool. If you haven't been there yet, wow, it is awesome. That was a cool day. I wear my uh, Apple Watch to track my steps, my health, everything. And uh, I walked over eight miles that day. A 
I still can't go on Fridays yet. Starting in October, I can go on Fridays. Like I said, I paid three fifty for that pass. I've been 16 times. And the good folks at Disney, no offense, you rip us off. 100 bucks or something to get into that park. It is expensive. But that passport, if you're going to go off and really saves you money. Sheldon, that razor and that blade knock this down in one pass. Some of your razors you, they sent to me uh, to try and uh, they were still in the prototype stage and maybe the handle was a little loose, but this one locked in good. This one definitely locked in good. All right. that unboxing video last night and I tried a cool feature that uh, allows you to choose the time that the uh, anyway when I uploaded it on YouTube so it should have went in today this afternoon a couple of hours ago so that's kind of neat so you can kind of schedule your videos should be home about 10 minutes from now then it's off to the gym man between work and gym and sleep and then work and I mean wow time flies Whew. much better nice Nice DS Cosmetic, nice. I think they got this one on sale. I think it's like 20 bucks right now. 37% off. Nice. And actually, the shipping from them to me uh, here in California is very quick. And I think you guys who have ordered the Ken Surf's brushes from them, the shipping's very quick. I, I, I've got to hand it to them. Man, there we go. Last time that camera fell off, knocked everything over. I still haven't fixed it. All right. I do not need the witch hazel today. No soap. Some fine. Oh yeah, there's the burn. Oh, the citrus smell. What a nice citrus shade today. Very good. Guys, thank you for watching. Uh, now that I've got a couple of these uh, mini adventures out of the way, I'll uh, hopefully be releasing some more videos again real soon. Thank you for watching and thank you for your subscriptions. I'm at like 13 and a half thousand now. I mean, that's awesome. Thank you so much. So uh, really, I really, really appreciate it. And I look forward to seeing you all again in another video real soon. Until next time, it's Ken Serve saying have a great night.